What you said with Haaland, you know he probably might not have a lot of touches. He might not work against the big ass teams. But dude, he will make sure that he kills 15 out of those 20 teams. When it comes to Haaland, KDB on the other hand, no, that guy is goated. So he is somebody who performs against the small teams and the big teams. Unlike City, we have City to contend with to win our yeah. uh, first title. <laughs> So I have a question, right? We've seen Pep, we've seen City for like what, three, four, five years now, and he always reinvents himself. And now he's reinvented like last last season with Haaland, and nobody can stop him. Like absolutely nobody. I mean, I know Arsenal stopped them last season from scoring and whatnot, shit. But objectively speaking, there's just no stopping these guys. Either teams can't handle it, they come up with a plan, and that plan goes out of the window as soon as they come out of the tunnel. So what is it with it? Like why are they so unstoppable? But I think I think where yeah. they are right now. Yeah, go on. Okay. Yeah. Where where they are right now I think is the result of a very long term investment and this goes back to even before Pep came into the equation right so it's not just that okay you have a legendary manager and uh, you have a good squad but you also have that squad depth and the organization to back it up so in order to take them down you will also need you will you will need to start at the bottom and like invest and get to that point and I think that one team that has been trying to do that is Arsenal right I think we are like maybe in phase 4 right now and unlike City we we have City to contend with to win our yeah. uh, first title. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if it wasn't okay. for that, we would have would have been winning two titles now, right? If that yeah. City was not there. Or so not if you the look reference. at it, yeah. Come. So th this is the way to beat them, right? You need yeah. to build it up like that. So it's it is difficult, but it can be done. You know what? I was surprised from their lack of transfer activities, and there are some certain explanations to it, which I'll get to in a minute. But uh, I was surprised that they l let uh, Alvarez go, and they only hmm. got this guy Savinho in, right? And if you looked at their bench over the weekend it wasn't really strong and again this I'm prefacing this by saying that Rodri wasn't there Foden wasn't there like they mm. got Kundo Gundogan right so once these players comes in those that bench immediately starts looking as if like you know they have certain game changes from the bench but at least for now it wasn't as strong they were like really a, like four or five academy players uh, a few defenders but it wasn't something that you'd be scared of but then they have Haaland which is simply unstoppable I mean and Haaland and KDB you just can't stop that. okay so uh, when it comes to Haaland we've seen him go missing in big games over yeah. and over and over again we saw that in both of our games against City last season we saw that in the Champions League as well so yeah. we don't have to think like that when it comes to Haaland KDB on the other hand no that guy is goated so he is somebody who performs against the small teams and the big teams yeah. so I think he's way more of an asset than Haaland Haaland can score 3-4 goals against Bournemouth and whatever that's great uh, but I'm not Haaland is not who I'm concerned about I'm more concerned about the fact that they seem to be very sure of their transfers. There is no rumors going around. There is no questions being asked. They just do it, right? Even offloading Alvarez, it just happened like that's it. There was no yeah. other thought about it, nothing. They knew what they were going to do and they did it. And yeah. even getting Gundogan back. So that is definitely concerning. Like when you see your rivals acting like that, because that means that they have it laid out. They have yeah. like a proper plan in place. So, I mean, at the same time, I feel like maybe if you look at Arsenal, it was quite stable window. I did not see a lot of fumbling or going back and forth. It just, you know, we wanted these people and we got it. And at the end of the window, I mean, Sterling was a bit of a surprise move. And there was also talk of uh, David Nunes. <laughs> I would have loved that. As guy. well. Yeah. I would love some chaos. I mean, to be honest, I would. Yeah. Main reason, the main reason why I would have liked him was because of the chaos that he would bring. I think we are too structured, bro. I mean, I'm not going to lie. When I said I was mm. worried about Arsenal was because we are all tactics. We are not really a moments player. And sometimes what you need is a moments player. Like what you said with Haaland, you know he probably might not have a lot of touches he might not work against the big ass teams but dude he will make sure that he kills 15 out of those 20 teams and then you need the rest of the <laughs> squad in KDB and Haaland and Whoa. like oh sorry KDB and Foden and, and, and Rodri and like all of these people to step up for the rest of the 5 uh, out of 10 games against the next, next 5 teams right so I think having that punisher that killer is Obviously, there's only one Haaland. You can't get him. There's no other Haaland in the world. So I'm not saying get Haaland, but I'm just saying that we are so dependent on tactics that if our tactics don't work, then it just goes. It everything goes out of the way. Don't you don't you think our defense is like no no quite it's, it's good best, right now beyond the tactics even best beyond in the tactics league. even in terms of just physical attributes yeah, yeah. I think it's really good. Uh, best in the I league. would I would say like it's better than cities. Best in the league. Yeah, yeah. Best in the league. because I'm quite confident right now with yeah. the back four. Right, it is. So 
so solid right now and now timbers back into the equation right so i think maybe we need to see like you said we need to because for example what happened yesterday we saw tactics in play yeah. but that was not enough we want to see a little bit of individual brilliance to take yeah. us over the top in these kind of situations so i mean we do get that from saka we do and uh, maybe you can see a little bit of trossard as well but yeah. i think i think martinelli has been disappointing that way and he's someone who's actually capable of doing that we've seen him yeah, do yeah. that in the past yeah. so i feel like see we do have some players but they need to step up and they need to step yeah. up and do something that's wh- that's why even i was excited for newness because when you have a player like that like up front things can happen things can happen so, yeah <laughs> i don't think things can happen <laughs> things are not and even uh, to a certain degree i like havertz that that way as well yeah. because yeah. things happen he's also a bit chaotic yeah. but not yeah. jesus jesus is a <laughs> jesus just flops bro jesus just cuts one player then he'll flop then he'll flop then he'll flop he, he does everything but to release the ball and by the thing i mean like he just doesn't know when to shoot or when to pass he just doesn't know that And I know Haaland is, and I know Nunez is similar. That's why Abhinav is laughing. Maybe even more. <laughs> oh, but this is this is the classic, love- classic case of grass is green on the other side. Thing, you know? I mean, like you're 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 paying too much of a price for having Nunez. I'm telling you, you want moments for the chaos, for the moments, for those. See, moments. see, okay, but there's a thing, right? His speed, height, strength, these things are there. These physical attributes are there. See, you just need to utilize him that well. Hezus, oh, on mean, the other hand, it, he doesn't have those some, attributes. I get it. Take it from someone mm. who has seen it. Known as every touch, every run, <laughs> every every misstep was seen, and who is frustrated beyond the point. You see, it's not the it's not the fact of. Him missing goals, right? Like the strikers only cannot like what twenty percent of the chances on average uh, unless it's Haaland. So I get that. him missing chances. I get it. But the thing is, his general intelligence, his general <laughs> application of how and what to do where. I'm okay. okay I'm being very unsure on everything, but the entire club farewell tour and the link started from a Nunes pass to fucking Bruno Fernandes at three <laughs> in that in that Kamal Diallo's goal. It started from there. We were leading three two initially. That we were we had. Like, 10 minutes to go. Just like, why do you want to counter at that point? Why do you want to make a risky pass? Nothing. Like, there is no intelligence. I'm telling you, that is. So I think maybe that is more like a discipline thing as well. Maybe he okay. is too think, emotional. He gets. You think Klopp couldn't do the discipline thing? Seriously? I think no, I'm, no, 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 I'm, I'm talking about self-discipline. Bro, I'm talking about self-discipline. Our data is better. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm talking about self-discipline. So yeah, so no. I'm just saying that Self- uh, that that you're right. Klopp is great, whatever, but he's still young, so it is technically fixable. I don't know what shock therapy, <laughs> abuse, torture. <laughs> kidnapping to, uh, his, kidnapping <laughs> is that. <laughs> I'll, I'll literally <laughs> just, just, just so that my theory is proven right or wrong. What the rest of the club? Because the, the thing what fucks me up with Nunes is that I don't have clarity. I don't know what he's doing, when he's doing it, and how he's doing. If someone can, if someone maybe after the change, channel all of that and say, okay, I'm going to teach him self discipline, self awareness, and then I'm going to make him this player. Then please, by all means, go for it. Even if that means Liverpool is not winning the title, I want to see it. No, so it is possible. It is possible that there was a lot going on for Klopp, and Nunes was the neglected, neglected child. <laughs> okay, maybe, okay. maybe okay, if okay. another family adopted him, maybe if another <laughs> family adopted him, <laughs> who more okay, functional at the moment, more functional at the moment, because we don't have a lot of drama going on, yeah. so we might be able to focus on that one child. 